Hey guys, hello friends out there. It is Sonya Miller of Junk Monkey Paint Company, AKA a girl who fancies herself a mermaid, lives inland and loves it therefore when it rains. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a bit of a different sort of a vlog. I figured I would go ahead and do a DIY of the hair vlog, okay? The more I put myself out there on camera, the more I get questions from you guys about my color lipstick, what I use in my hair, all that sort of stuff. And recently I had an opportunity to team up with an amazing company called Lange. Has anybody ever heard of them before? They're amazing. They do great um, products and all kinds of stuff for your hair. And uh, so I've been using their products and I had an opportunity to go live and to give away some free stuff. Um, if you missed that hair tutorial of how like I get to this point, which is where I just give myself some what I call mermaid, shabby, boho, uh, volumized curls, locks, looks, you know what I'm saying? Go over to my Facebook page, Junk Monkey Pick Up, and you'll find it there on my wall. But I wanted to show you today like what I do in terms of maybe just a couple different looks because one of the questions I get is, Sonia, how do you do your messy bun? We see you wear a messy bun a lot. Sonia, how do you wear your head wraps? That sort of stuff. So anyway, I thought today, after my hair is just finished being um, curled with that wand, with the Andola wand, I would go ahead and show you some looks real quick, okay? First one I'm gonna show you is, like this would be cute if you you go out and you find, you know, I'm I'm a uh, head wrap kind of girl, and I also like to pick up these lace ones. These I got at the Dollar Tree. In fact, they do them in different colors, I think, in the season, but they seem like they always have them. I'm trying to find, I have another one. It's a black one, a navy one, a gray one. You guys have seen me wear them before. And they're truly just lace. You could probably DIY these yourself if you want to, um, but they're perfect because for me, I'm trying to protect my hair right now. If you followed me on my channel here for a while, you'll notice that my hair, I have, this is what I call like my coconut hair. Like I feel like I have like all these little sprigs that stick out. And for a while they were really short because it was all new hair growth. You guys know, know that um, I lost a lot of weight doing low carb and part of my process probably about I'm gonna say about five months in four or five six months into it I started feeling like my hair was falling out and it wasn't just feeling it was actually happening like I would sit down in the car seat and, I, and because my hair is so long you can't miss your strands of hair right it would just show up in my lap when I was sitting down Oh my gosh, I put my, my book bag, my messenger bag over my shoulder, it would pull on my hair and I would have all this hair. And every single time I would run my hand through my hair, I would have, I kid you not, all these strands of hair and to the point where I'm saying to the people around me like, is this normal? I've never had hair loss like this before. I did a lot of research and I found out that when you do drop a lot of weight and for various reasons, whether it's stress in the body, whether it's vitamin deficiency, just a big change, all those sorts of things, and you know, hair, you know, weight loss can come in different ways. It can affect your body, and it sure did mine. And so it really scared me um, when that happened. And this is kind of where I'm at right now. Like I say, it's all growing out right now. But over the last few months on video, you've probably seen me in a so in a uh, side profile video where you've seen like all these just little sprigs of hair. That's all new hair. I'm thankful it's growing back. I'm doing vitamins, um, and I'm really trying to take care of my hair at this point, right? I was actually gonna cut my hair, which for me would have been like, oh my gosh, because I've always been known for long hair, I love my long hair, and um, I was this close to cutting it all off because of how much it thinned out. And I've always had thin hair, but I've had a lot of hair, so when I lost it, it was not a good thing, right? So when I use head wraps on my hair, it's because it's an easy way to get a different look, but it's also gentle on my hair. So these are some of my favorites right now that I'm loving on. It's just the little lacy one, like I said, you can DIY them or whatever. Whatever, but it's just super cute, right? I started to say that this is a look in itself. This is fun, like if you're going out or something, and I don't know, going out with the girls, and you just kind of want like a fun evening. Um, it's always fun. You could find some really like I have, I have these sort of little bands that you can wear, and they have like bling bling on them, and all kinds of like Moroccan and really really fun stuff. So it's always fun, you know, for a look in itself to just do this sort of stuff, especially when you have all this fun stuff down here, right? Or even if your hair is shorter, but it's still kind of like big and really really cute right but you can pull it all the way down of course and you can wear it this way so here's another look where we just bring it up and you can wear it on the edge of your hair if you want just kind of like for that if you want to do that but sometimes I'll also bring it up further so it shows some of my hair and then kind of push it forward again and now I have truly like a headband, right? 
Um, yes, I have lots of headbands, but I find that they stick on the back of my ears and give me headaches. And so this is why I just like a nice head wrap. And of course, you guys know I have tons of head wraps as well. If you want to check out my stash of head wraps, if you just go to junkmonkeypaint.com, um, I have a bunch listed over there as well. And I think we just put up some new ones as well this week. So that is fun right there. I also do the um, side one. That's fun because you have like lots of volume when you use the tools. It just gives you, you know, lots of hair to play with. Oh yeah, here's another one. This one's like a navy colored one. Love that. We love that for us. Those are just a couple bucks. Um, so yeah, I like to do my side ponytail right here as well. Just put a few twists on it, pull it up, and make it nice and lusciously beautiful. Beautiful. That's always fun for a shabby boho look. I'm also a sunglasses girl, so I do like a big side pony and my big glasses. And uh, so there we go, that's a look, right? Could also have my head wrap on while I have this going on as well. Let's pull on the navy one. So pretty. Ooh, this makes me want to paint Lucky Clover and Midnight Blue because I think that um, those would be amazing colors together. What do you guys think? This is how I get inspiration, right? You see the colors around you and then you're like, oh yeah bring those colors together in my world. So putting on your wrap like this while you have a side ponytail, dropping it just inside your hairline just a little bit. And now like this is adorable. I wear my hair like this a lot as well, right? Love it, love it, love it. Just like that. Then of course you could also, this is a low ponytail, but don't forget that you can also do the high one, which is where you just take your hair all up. A lot of times when I do the ponytail, the messy ponytail, um, I'm not combing my hair. I don't want it to be perfect. I just kind of want to, you know, pull it up with my fingers, do a quick twist right here. I think we've got ghosts in the shop because I just heard something fall over. All right, and then we've got our side ponytail right there, and we can just, you know, do that. That's cute again. Let's try out that look. Oh yeah, she's fancy. Do you remember when chokers were really in style? Was it the 90s that they were really in style? I can't remember. I think they're making a comeback again now, like everything. All right, let's go ahead and pull this up now. And let's lay it flat. Let's try that. Don't hook in my earrings, please. Okay, let's pull that up. Oh, that's cute in itself, like that, right? Again, just kind of on the hairline, like that. Oh, we like that. That's cool. And then also pull it up a little bit and push it forward. So now I have this cute look as well because I've got big side ponytail and I've got right there. Like, I love this look right here. I'm all about it. That screams what I love. So now the other thing that you guys have been seeing, and I'll end at this one, just because you got options, you got options, is when you take all your hair, you bring it to the top, you got your ponytail, and now what I do is, I do this without even thinking about it, band it, start to pull it through, but not all the way through, twist it, and bring it back. And then I've got a beautiful, messy bun right there, which is also a very, very common way that you see me wear my hair, right? And so a lot of times is, you know, the first day I might not wear it like this, but after a few days, it goes up in the ponytail. But by creating all that texture in my hair, long, long hair, and then, you know, when I wrap it around the wand, then I get all those beach waves, it just gives you a lot in your bun. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyhow, I thought this would be just a fun vlog to show you a couple ways that I love to do my hair. I am all about imperfectly perfect, but I have to tell you, I'm committed now to styling my hair. So, look out. I will be back again tomorrow, guys. This is my daily vlog. Thank you for following along my creative journey with me. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Are you somebody that loves to style your hair? Do you fit it in your schedule like a couple times a week or kind of like where are you with your maintenance of your hair? A girl wants to know. All right, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Much love to you all. Bye.